All right, so government expenditures. So this shouldn't take uh, very long. So basically, uh, government uh, creates provisions for uh, public goods, for merit goods, that is um, schools, hospitals, libraries, public parks, roads, uh, the services for the government employees. Um, and all of that is basically constitutes the government expenditure. So government expenditure is independent of equilibrium income. So basically government expenditure is G equals to G, um, where G denotes government expenditure, right? So government expenditure also includes Q. And we talked in one of our previous videos that Q is basically transfer payments right transfer payments include um in uh, uh, is basically payments to households in the form of student grants in the form of unemployment benefits uh, social security payments welfare payments pensions etc etc um but q is always recorded in consumption and the reason why that is is because q has an immediate effect uh, on consumption so Q is not recorded in G because uh, so sorry it's not recorded in G so because so you do not double count it so Q so uh, so Q transfer payments is not recorded in G but it's recorded in consumption and so government expenditure is basically everything except transfer payments so if I sketch the consumption function uh, so on the y-axis, sorry, on the x-axis, I have equilibrium income. On the y-axis, I have government expenditure. And if I sketch um, the government expenditure function, this is what it will look like. Independent uh, with changes in equilibrium income. So now we've talked about all the components um, of aggregate expenditure in a closed mixed economy. We talked about consumption, we talked about investments, and now we finally talked about government expenditure as well. So in the next video, we'll talk about aggregate expenditure as a whole and how to sketch the aggregate expenditure function.